Dealers are guilty of practicing illegal price discrimination against cash buyers. And quite frankly, anyone who refuses to pay their crazy fees and additional add-on products. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. Liz, you're getting a steady diet of emails from our cash buying audience stating that dealers are practicing price discrimination against them for being a cash buyer. Right, and it's totally illegal. Yes. According to both the FTC regs section 463.4 and according to the Robinson Patman Act, for you dealers who like to come on our channel to protest, hey, we're not all bad, I challenge you to contact the dealers in your community and tell them they either need to stop doing these kinds of practices or you're going to wage economic warfare by advertising their illegal actions to area consumers, just like we are, and don't stop until they change or are out of business. Here's our viewer, Dave, who writes, I thought I saw one of your videos on this once, but I can't find it. Question, is it legal for a dealership to sell a new car with a different price based on whether or not the buyer finances the car with them? Is this a federal FTC law or is it based on state's laws? Thanks, Dave. We were both working on email responses to viewers when this question came in, and we sent this response to Dave. It is not legal to bait and switch like this. Sometimes a manufacturer will have a rebate that says, if you take this $1,000 rebate to finance with us, you lose other rebates. But that is spelled out from the factory. You never have to get a loan to buy something that you'd prefer to pay with cash or cashier's check, etc. This is essentially an added fee for cash buyers. It's price discrimination. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. We'll create a printout for viewers to slap on the bargaining table to scare dealers into doing the right thing. They don't like being hit in the gut with specific laws. But print that out and take it with you. Hit them hard and let me know how it goes. Signed, Liz. As you can see, the discriminatory practice of increasing the price of the car because you elect to pay with cash is a total violation of the robinson Patman Act. It also violates Section 463.4 of the FTC regs. The law states, a seller charging competing buyers different prices for the same commodity or discriminating in the provision of allowances compensation for advertising and other services may be violating the robinson Pacman Act. This kind of price discrimination may give favored customers an edge in the market that has nothing to do with their superior efficiency. Totally. The Supreme Court has actually ruled on this. They ruled that price discrimination claims under the robinson Patman Act should be evaluated consistent with broader antitrust policies. You see, this also violates antitrust laws. I don't think any dealer wants to be in the middle of an investigation that involves violations of antitrust laws, the robinson Patman Act, and the FTC rules under Section 463.4. Remember when we said the FTC outline is simply clarification of laws already on the books? Tons of laws to prevent this kind of activity. Here's something else to be aware of. For the laws to have teeth, you guys have to help enforce them. You have to catch them in the act. Just because a law is written doesn't mean the illegal actions won't happen. For example, it's against the law for someone to trespass and break into your garage. Where your Corvette is parked. <laughs> but there's nothing to stop them unless you actually catch them. If you were standing there when the thief stopped by, do you think they'd pass? Of course. The same is true of a car dealer getting caught trying to break the law. You slap the law on the table and the thief telling you he has to charge you more for paying cash will just fold. Fold like a house of cards. Yep. Such great stuff, folks. I can tell you folks that it's terrific having Elizabeth on staff to help fight against unscrupulous dealers. Every time we get another viewer report of unscrupulous dealer activity, she goes into research mode, pulls up the laws and regulations, and helps all of you to use it to your benefit when negotiating with car dealers. There are two legal defenses a car dealer can use when challenged these types of alleged robinson Pacman violations. Number one, the price difference is justified by different costs in the manufacturer, sale, or delivery. Let me ask you this. Just because someone is a cash buyer, how could that possibly change the cost of manufacture, the cost of sale, or delivery? That's right. totally unprovable by any dealer, and they know it. They are simply counting on you being a gullible and uninformed consumer who just follows their lead and listens to their claims about following the law. The second defense is the price concession was given in good faith to meet a competitor's price. <laughs> well, quite often when I've raised a legal argument against a dealer trying to screw me over, I find that they actually know nothing about the law they're violating. They're idiots when it comes to the law. Yeah, when they mutter under their breath that they are aware of the law I'm citing, I just can't leave it there. I feel compelled to give them an education to help the next buyer. So I ask them, tell me what the law says. And I often get nothing <laughs> back from them. So I just have to educate them. This is a great time to address another common claim about legality that dealers make about fees, especially document fees. They say, 
we have to charge you this fee. It's not negotiable. We're just following the law as if they're law-abiding citizens. Yeah. That is another total lie. Here's what I'd say to any finance officer or salesman making such a claim to me, or anytime they say they are following the law by doing something that you disagree with as a car buyer, write this down, folks. You must say, show me the state law or regulation requiring you to do such a thing. They won't be able to show you any such law because no law exists in any state. That's good advice anywhere in life. Yes. If you haven't already printed up a copy of the FTC regs we posted on our website for the free download, you're potentially costing yourself thousands of dollars in fees and add-ons. Yes. In the, in the FTC outline we have for you to download for free from our website, on page 11 under section 463.4, it says, this would require a motor vehicle dealer to disclose the true offering price of a vehicle in advertisements that reference specific vehicles or price or financing terms. Under the proposed rule, the offering price of a vehicle means the full cash price for which a dealer will sell or finance the motor vehicle to any consumer. Cash price. Excluding any required government charges. You see, folks, even the FTC regs uses the words excluding only required government charges, which are only state taxes, registration fees, and licensing of your vehicle. Those are the only fees you are required to pay no matter what state you're in. Anytime you face a stubborn, unscrupulous dealer who claims their fees and add-ons are mandatory or tries to charge you more just because you're a cash buyer, don't hesitate a second to threaten the filing of an FTC complaint at reportfraud.ftc.gov. Have those FTC guidelines printed out and downloaded off our website in your hand. It says right on their website, we enforce federal competition and consumer protection laws that prevent anti-competitive, deceptive, and unfair business practices. File an FTC complaint and make the FTC do their job. Aren't you guys just blown away by how good our content is? The bottom line is every time you click on one of our videos right now on the Homework Guide channel, it's like getting the gift of a pocket full of free money. If you'd like to show some gratitude to us for our quality car market updates and accurate car buying advice videos like this one, the links for tips appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course Venmo. Our tip system was suggested to us by our viewing audience. Generous people ask for a way to donate to support our mission. And you know, folks, it's working great. Voluntary tips are awesome because they provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. And apparently most of you love us a lot, just as we love you. And we have been making a big effort to convert your generosity into more free services for our viewers. You guys are benefiting everyone. If a tip isn't an option for you, that's no problem at all. Just show us your thanks by subscribing and recommending our videos to your friends and family. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. Any viewer has contacted us will tell you that you don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid car club membership. Just send us a text with, to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be in touch with you. If you're out shopping in the car market right now, make sure you see Kevin's playlist, THG Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session. Also, if you're on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguide.com. It's loaded with so many free resources for car buyers, it's mind blowing. And let us know what you think of the new photo of Kevin and me on our website. Also coming up this week will be a video submitted to us by sweet little Lillian, <laughs> who went into a dealership on her own without her husband or another helper, only having the FTC regs in her hand. She was inspired by our video, THG's Amazing Elizabeth versus a car dealer finance officer. She got fees and some add-ons removed, saving her 3,869 bucks. She has agreed to submit a video testimonial of her car buying experience using the homework guide techniques. Our content and what we teach on this channel is kryptonite to an unscrupulous car dealer, folks. Go savage Liz at the car dealer and save thousands, just like sweet little Lillian did. Right now, our following of subscribers is growing faster than any other creator in our lane on YouTube. We just added 2,000 new subscribers just over the weekend. By the way, recently we mentioned a few good, honest YouTube creators out there. One was Chevy Dude a short time ago, and one of them recently was Brandon at Car Questions Answered. We finally got his name. Yeah. We want to mention him again because if you didn't already go over to his channel, you should. Honest creators deserve all the attention they can get. And by the way, I had a lengthy and very productive conversation with Brandon, and he said he was more than happy to share some of his auction footage with us for our audience. It's such good stuff that even if he said he didn't want the money, we are agreeing to pay him a revenue share. We'll never take anything away from anybody. The bottom line is this, any truly honest YouTube creator should reach out to us for a collaboration effort our door is wide open for good people to be featured on our upcoming shows. 
And you only need to email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or send us a text to 701-441-3399. Be sure to include a channel link. We will do our homework looking for evidence of honesty in your content and call you if you pass the litmus test. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join the fast growing group of 382,000 subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.